just picked up the bike. This is the uh, 1250 GSA. And uh, as you guys know, the other bike uh, got totaled. So I picked this one up and uh, uh, kind of uh, happy and sad, but uh, everything's going to be fine, I think. Uh, this 1250 has got a lot of new stuff, so it's going to be fun. So let's go ahead and start riding. Okay, it says two miles. <laughs> that is cool. Odometer is two miles. Let's see uh, what we have here. Okay, let's adjust the mirrors here. Here we go. Smooth. The shifting is really smooth on this one. That is pretty neat. That is pretty cool. I just love it. It is smooth. Seat is really low. Man, I feel like a sports bike here. This is unbelievably low. <laughs> Easily lower than my other bike. So, that is interesting. Man, the speedometer is like <laughs> huge compared to what I'm used to. Uh, I can like comfortably flat foot this bike here. This is like a sports bike here. Unbelievable. Oh, okay. So here I'm picking up the bike here because my other one, uh, you know, I had a minor uh, incident, I must say, and uh, pretty much. Uh, uh, they didn't want to repair it. They basically totaled it. And I thought it's like uh, probably thousand, two thousand dollars worth of damage on the upper side. But uh, they don't want to fix it. So anyway, I got a new bike. And this is the 2019, and uh, I like it right now. It seems good. So I have to take it easy, I guess, uh, the first 600 miles. And also, uh, my wife has told me, <laughs> you better not be going off-roading anytime soon. So I'm going to slowly ease my way back up there because uh, she is not comfortable. <laughs> uh, but that was alright. It was uh, a good learning experience. And, uh, and I think uh, I'm going to be a better rider for that. It's just a lack of a loss of concentration, I think, primarily what happened with me. But, uh, you know, sometimes I guess it happens. I just need to move on. Yeah, the bike is sweet. I don't see too much difference between uh, this and my bike. You know, it's just that. Uh, 
both uh, are pretty much the same uh, in terms of everything else. It's just that the seat is really, really low. But, uh, other than that, gorgeous day, gorgeous bike. Uh, back on the saddle again. So, it's gonna be fun. We're gonna be uh, doing our adventures again. <laughs> And uh, it's going to be okay. The TFD man is just too big. I'm used to the analog. So, you know, I must say that uh, uh, everybody will say, oh, probably, you know, TFD is great, but I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of uh, the TFD as of now. But the bike feels really nimble and it's just uh, amazing as usual. Is it just me or is this bike feeling even more nimble than the previous one? I don't know. You know I might, uh, uh, I'm not sure about that but it just is, it is pretty nimble. It's just unbelievably low. Is it because the handlebar is too high? I don't know. Let's see. I think I'll also probably check out the uh, suspension setting. Yeah, it might be in uh, minimum or something. It probably should be in auto, I guess. Clutch control body, clutch control, that's what got you into trouble the last time. So be careful. Oh, the brakes, the brakes, man. Uh, I would say the Brembo's are biting a little harder. Maybe it's just, it's just, uh, it's the first few days maybe. I don't know, I gotta check that. Because the bike has got barely two miles on it when I started, so. blind spot okay guys I would say if uh, you're looking at a 2019 or an 18 uh, barely make out any difference you know it's, it's nice and everything but uh, I would think uh, they are pretty equal you know there's not that much to really uh, make the upgrade so, I wish the TFT could be a little smaller. I got used to the smaller gauges, I guess. This thing is just staring at my face. It's just... So yeah, power is increased, horsepower, but, you know, I think uh, I can't make out. <laughs> uh, I thought that 2017 was was powerful enough for me. So this would be really good for off-roading because the handlebar is so high. I think this would be perfect for the off-road setup. So I'm not sure how the thing is recording the camera because the first time I'm setting up on this uh, other helmet, uh, my helmet. Uh, had to be total too because uh, you know, I went down and uh, you know, my face uh, kind of hit the ground but my hand protected uh, everything else so I just got a small uh, dislocation on my pinky but uh, I think uh, the helmet uh, I think it's crashed but yeah you know and uh, you know it's it's always better to change the helmet if you go down on it for once so that's what I did you know pretty much uh, got rid of my other helmet okay the brakes maybe they just knew because now they're starting to bite
Okay, what else? I probably shouldn't be exploring the TFT at this time. Better, I think it's better to do it when I'm at home. And the bike is stationary. But yeah, it is pretty good. Everything feels good. I probably will get the handlebars down. Because I... It's, it's all good, but it's... Uh, maybe, I don't know. You know, and I was getting the handlebar down. My shoulder used to twinge a little bit on my left side. So maybe I'll just leave it up here and see how it feels. And uh, get it down. Only if I feel the pain here too. Just if I don't, then maybe that probably fixes my issue. So. Traffic, traffic, traffic. The tires, these are the regular street tires, I guess. This is the Bridgestone Battle Axe tires. Uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I really don't care because I'm going to switch over to the off road tires eventually. So, whatever they gave me, it was good. They had an option of an. Uh, uh, Anarchy Adventure, I think, which kind of got you up from a 90-10 to an 80-20. Eh, I, I don't think uh, it's going to make much of a difference. Yep, feels like I'm back on the old bike. It's a little low. I probably said that hundred times already. But this feels like the first bike I had in India. It was a Kawasaki KB100, and that was low and it was very comfortably. I could, uh, you know, flat with the bike. So this feels like that. So maybe it will actually increase uh, the confidence even more because the seat is so low. I don't know. That's just the thought. But uh, I'm not sure if there are any downsides to a low seat. Other than, uh, you know, because the suspension is as is. So by lowering the seat, it really isn't doing anything to the geometry of the uh, suspension or anything else. So the clearance and everything is the same. So might as well keep it low. Thank you, God. Hmm. It is beautiful. A good day to ride. I thought it would be cold, cooler, but it kind of is getting a little warm. So I opened a few vents. So yeah, let's see if I remember all my things I learned from, from my big bend ride in terms of handling the curves. comfortable of the bike. Uh, there is a channel called Moto Jitsu I think. That guy is pretty good in terms of uh, technique on what to do and how to ride. And uh, so he basically tells you that you want to keep your feet, keep your arm absolutely straight, the one which is away from you. So that way you can uh, you know uh, transfer your body weight on the other side and uh, yep the seat is really low that is almost fun this seat is like a grom You know what, actually, the bike feels a lot more nimble because the seat is low. That might not be the case, but what the heck, that's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. 
actually, you know, I'm actually getting used to this uh, position. I have a high handlebar. Uh, kind of gets me to stretch out a little bit. So. today but uh, I do hear a lot of wind noise in this helmet. Sixty-four degrees. Huh. Feels like seventy four now. Let's try the quick shifter. Let's see how the quick shifter works. Yep. Looks but we don't like automatics, do we? No. We shift ourselves. That's why we ride the bike. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. It's pretty cool. I like the seat tight. I think it's just going to be incredible when I go off-roading. It's going to be even more comfortable to put my feet down and not worry about uh, you know uneven surfaces. Because sometimes uh, when you can get your feet down correctly, you know that's when you get into trouble in off-road because the bike starts uh, tilting over and once this bike starts to tilt over even like five degrees man you know what let it drop buddy it's going down so and, uh, yeah I love it the bike seems awesome as before Focus, buddy. That's all it is. Just focus. You got all the technique. You got everything going your way. So just focus. You're good. Dry, a ride like there's nothing to prove. The guy who has a channel uh, in, uh, I think he's in Germany, but he does a lot of reviews and bikes and stuff. And this channel is called uh, Nothing to Prove. And uh, that's perfect. Right, like you got nothing to prove. You're just doing this for the fun of it and for yourself. So, I haven't even touched the back brake. These brakes are linked, so you don't really have to use the back brake because I think it's 70% uh, front and 30% back anyway if you press the front brake. So um, yeah first thoughts uh, you know people talk all about it you need to upgrade to 2019 because of the shift cam and the TFT and everything else. Dude I'm old school. I was perfectly happy with the 2017. I think one of my buddies just bought a 2016, so that's what I'm going to tell him today when we meet him. Dude, you got this buddy. 2016 is as good as 2019. You are good to go. Another thing is, oh, I didn't install the bike yet. Hopefully that's not going to happen soon. Because I am a professional. No, I'm just focusing. That's what it is. If you focus, you will be alright. As my daughter says, ride like you're riding for the first time every time. I do I might actually get a custom seat done on this so that uh, it feels a lot more comfortable I think it's I feel it's a little uh, thin on the thinner side the cushion so I'm wondering if uh, 
how it's gonna hold up uh, for those long rides. So, we'll see. This bike feels lighter than the other bike. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's possible, but dude, this bike feels like man. I don't know what they've done. It feels a lot nimbler than the other bike. I could not have uh, improved my riding by not riding. <laughs> that just doesn't make sense because uh, the last time I rode the bike was about a couple of weeks ago uh, but uh, yeah this one seems like man it feels really light but I, as, I, as I often say to people you know what don't it's just don't forget about the GS you know it's just GSA or or bust As you can see, it's just unbelievably light it feels. And you got a big tank, it comes with all the uh, extras which you're gonna add on the GS anyway for it to you know be comfortable in terms of what you want to do with it. So why would you uh, I don't know. That's my theory. And uh, this certainly uh, accentuates that because this bike is uh, incredibly nimble. You know, incredibly nimble. And I, can't, I can't believe how nimble this is. was GSA man what a bike the wind's blowing me but the bike is just plowing through the so, dude wind take it easy buddy you're not gonna intimidate me they have what we call Vayu Bhagawan that's what we call the wind in in Hindi in Sanskrit actually respect the wind eh? I do like the higher handle position. I think it's is uh, making my shoulder feel better. Yep, what a bike! What a bike! BMW, you're the best. The first time I heard about the BMW bike was probably when I was a kid, 12, 13 years old. I read an article which said that they ran the uh, BMW motor at that time probably it was just the boxer which I'm running right now for uh, 24 hours non-stop I said what a bike what a bike I didn't know what BMW was I, that just got my attention I said dude that is a bike and it certainly is let me just uh, squeeze I promise you start I don't know how that works I know how it works on a Mercedes but I'm not sure how it works here
Oh man, oh man, this bike is, is gorgeous. It, the seat is incredibly low. Can't believe how low it is. Gorgeous. Thank you again. We'll see you guys later.